Um, I would assume, and, and I know of a few, uh, being your attorney, uh, we've dealt with, with a few problems, but I, I would assume in, in seven years, you've seen a few things with people renting your trailers. Um, and I don't want to miss this opportunity of, of stories. <laughs> what has happened to, to some of your trailers? What have you seen the best and worst in, in people? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, obviously <clears throat> in business, you're always going to see funny things. I mentioned before with the garage, I saw a lot of funny things. In the trailer business, the same. I, I had a guy once phone me, <laughs> he rented the, a cattle trailer. Now, that's a big trailer. The thing weighs about one and a half tons. Uh, it's it's double axle. It's it's a big piece of machinery or equipment that you are pulling behind your vehicle. And he rented it to go to Johannesburg. And he gets to Joburg and he phones me and he's like, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, when I stopped here, I realized the trailer is gone. And I'm like, <laughs> did you not realize while you were driving, while you were pulling one and a half tons behind you, all of a sudden my bucky's got more power, you know? Did you not realize some way that something happened? And he said, no, he doesn't have a clue where it happened. I said, do you ever look in your rear view mirror, bro? I mean, how do you drive? Um, so I've, I've seen crazy things. And I said, listen, you need to go back because I mean, that is a nightmare situation. It's one and a half tons of steel that somehow got loose on the highway. You know, that thing could have hit anybody or anything. You know, you need to go back and you need to see. And thankfully, it, uh, it just hit a tree by the side of the road and it was a complete write off. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so I've seen crazy things. I think again, in that situation, it's important to make sure that you've got your paperwork in order. We have insurance on all of our our trailers because you can imagine that situation not having insurance can be a massive issue so yeah we've just decided even though the insurance premium in our game is really expensive because it's a it's a it's a high risk environment we've just decided that's the way that we need to go and so thankfully my insurance could, could cover that but we've seen a lot of things uh, in our industry you know if, if somebody rents something from you they they don't really care about it so I've had people I w come to me and say, listen, I'm only gonna gonna load like a like a Mini Cooper on the back. Then and three hours later, he passes you with a tractor on the back. I'm like, bro, you know. <laughs> so so you see a lot of things, uh, but it's part of the game. I think I think every sport has got his inju injuries, you know. Uh, and there's 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 not one single easy industry. Every single one of the stuff that you're gonna gonna go for has got its own things and it's important I remember when I was just in the fuel industry and looking at other industries and thinking that would be so much easier and then once you get into that other industry you're like man this is also tough you know so every single thing that you're gonna do in life is gonna have its ups and its downs and you need to just decide which ones you're gonna go through and then when you're in it just mitigate and, and work through it. Mm -hmm.